today we're going to talk about why infants are at risk for losing heat immediately after birth and some of the nursing interventions that we will employ in preventing heat loss. So the first thing when you come in to the unit in the morning, you want to come to your radiant heat warmer and first of all you want to know how do I turn it on because these warmers can be very different from facility to facility. For instance, this warmer turns on here, others you'll see at the front of the panel, others in the back of the panel. When you turn it on, it goes through its uh, self-check mechanism and will start to, start to pre-warm. So why are we so concerned about heat loss in the newborn? Well, remember, heat, newborns have a larger body surface to mass ratio. They have a very thin layer of subcutaneous fat. Their blood vessels are closer to the surface. They have an inability to shiver like you and I do. And the changes in environmental temperature also change the infant's blood temperature, which causes a disruption in the regulatory mechanisms in the hypothalamus to regulate heat. So for all of those reasons, it's our job to do our best to, to maintain body temperature initially when this baby is delivered and throughout the transition period. So your goal is to provide a neutral thermal environment. This is an environment in which we have an ideal body temperature in the baby where heat, heat loss is prevented, uh, heat balance is preserved with minimal oxygen consumption and glucose consumption. Um, if we don't do these things to keep the baby warm, babies will suffer the consequences of cold stress, which can mean a, a longer transition period or reverting to a, a fetal circulation resulting in persistent pulmonary uh, hypertension and a stay in the NICU. So uh, it, it's not just, oh, it's just temperature. Temperature it really is everything in, in a newborn. Um, so the, our warmer's heat is, is, is warming up now. So we come in in the morning, we wanna turn it on. And this particular warmer has a pre-warm function. Not all warmers do, but this has a pre-warm function, which now we're just making sure that, that it's actually working. And you can put your hand at the top of the warmer and feel that it is working. Other things that you wanna assemble in the morning to make sure it works so you'll be prepared when the baby is delivered. We want an oxygen source. This is an Ambu bag. You'll find one either like this or like this in your particular facility and your instructor will go over how to test the Ambu bag. We wanna make sure we have a suction source, a wall suction source, and usually a number eight or a number 10 suction catheter available. Um, a laryngoscope is also necessary and you'll see that in your facility as well and blankets and we usually assemble these at the time the baby is, uh, is getting ready to be born. A bulb syringe usually comes on the delivery table but you may also want to have one here ready at the warmer when the baby is, is delivered. So once we've checked everything um, at, at the beginning of your shift then you can turn your warmer off and not turn it back on again until it's time for the delivery. Some important points though to remember about this setting. Right now the setting is on a manual mode and it means that it's just hot, okay? There's no regulation to the baby's temperature. So for safety purposes, once our baby is born and our baby is here under the warmer, we would never ever wanna leave a, fee a baby unattended under a manual mode. Because uh, if we do, the babies can easily get burned and uh, it's, 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 it's for safety reasons. Um, if we are going to maintain a baby under a warmer <clears throat> for any length of time, uh, we can attach the temp probe to a soft spot, usually on the baby's abdomen, with a little sticky probe, and it attaches to the baby's abdomen, and then we'll make this warmer onto a baby mode, a skin temperature mode, and now the warmer reads the temperature of the baby and then the, regulates the warmer up and down according to the baby's needs. So I'm gonna put this back on pre-warm. Okay, um, methods of heat loss. We're, we are pre-warming this surface when it's time for the mother to start pushing because babies lose heat in four different ways. The first way is through conduction. So if we would place the baby here on a, a cool surface, the baby would lose body heat to the surface. <clears throat> so our intervention of pre-warming the surface prevents heat loss by conduction. Another way that babies lose heat is through evaporation. Baby is born wet into a cold environment, so we'll dry the baby and get, get all that amniotic fluid off and keep the baby warm that way. 
convection is air current, so we have warm currents here for the warmer, keeping the baby warm. We put a cap on the baby's head as well, and that prevents convective heat loss. And lastly, radiation. We wouldn't want to place this warmer next to a wall, a window in the nursery, because air temperature from the baby is lost uh, to, the, to the cooler air temperature of the wall. Skin to skin is the best way to keep the baby warm. Uh, we want to dry our baby first, and then wrap the baby and bring the baby to the mother and a cap on the head. Skin to skin does a couple of things. It regulates body temperature and physiologic functioning. Uh, it stimulates bonding behaviors in the mother and the baby. Also stimulates breastfeeding behaviors. Mom can do skin to skin, dad can do skin to skin. Uh, so don't freak out when the dad takes his shirt off and we put this baby skin to skin. Uh, we do need to remember though, mom is an incubator. And as the baby is on mom's chest, her breasts sense if the baby is too cold. If the baby is cold, blood is, sh blood is shunted to her breast, keeps the baby warm. If the baby gets too warm, blood is shunted away from the breast to cool the baby. So mom is an incubator. If dad is doing skin to skin, remember dad is a heater. We place the baby skin to skin on dad and he only warms the baby. So it's really important to take frequent temperature assessments really on both mom and dad when they're doing skin to skin. Okay, when we have our baby, and we're going to dry our baby. So baby is born, and the provider is going to dry our baby off, okay, from head to toe. And it's just like when you get out of the shower. You're not gonna tap, tap, tap. We're gonna really vigorously dry the baby, dry the face, rotate the baby, okay, really dry, right, really dry the baby. I would normally have gloves on. Uh, dry the baby, keep the baby dry, all right? We have our baby, when we baby is first born, if we put the baby in the warmer, we're gonna place the baby in this position on the warmer. So in case we need to do any extensive resuscitation, the neonatal nurse practitioner has easy access in this direction to ventilate the baby. It's a time-saving step. Once our baby is stabilized, we've done an assessment, uh, we've identified the baby, it's time to swaddle the baby and then bring the baby to mom and dad. So we're going to swaddle. We have our pre-warm blanket. We're just folding this into a little V. Okay, remember when you pick up your baby, you're gonna support the back of the head, okay? And you're gonna hold the baby by the leg, really supporting the baby well. We're gonna place the baby on the blanket. One side comes over, and this bottom part comes up, and baby's going wee, okay? Put this little hand down. And then we're gonna wrap the baby up in a nice big burrito. Um, let's see, does someone here have a cap on the head? Uh, Mrs. Uh, Smith, could you hand me that cap for the baby's head? Because we want to keep the baby's uh, head warm. Bring the baby to mom and dad for skin to skin. Thank you so much. All right, so we've got cap on head. So we've dried the baby, evaporative heat loss. We've got cap on the head, preventing convective heat loss. Uh, we've had the baby on our warm surface, conductive heat loss, and we're not gonna have the baby against the wall. So we've swaddled and we're ready to bring the baby to mom and dad. So we're gonna hold the baby by the head and our baby is swaddled and we're ready to go see mom and dad.